Okay, hi everybody, and you know me. My name's Pixie, and so if you have a question, make sure you uh, raise your hand, and um, you can call me Miss Pixie. And today we're gonna paint the uh, chameleon, the rainbow chameleon. Obviously, a chameleon cannot make herself a rainbow. She'd probably freak herself out trying to do it. Um, but it's fun, it's a fun idea. So when we paint, we know that we worry about shape, color, and texture right? To try to tell the story of the object that we're painting. Well, we don't have to do the background. Yes. Okay. But we are going to paint all these colors and the shape, I already did the shape. So shape doesn't count this time because you're not drawing nothing. As long as we, you know, it stays this basic shape. We know what it is. Okay. Then we're going to do, um, shape color then color we're always trying to make 3d how many colors to make 3d three dark medium light right so every color i'm going to try to make dark medium light so and it, and it takes a while to comp what it's so confusing but let's say this little orange piece right and it's just this little square right here little square. but i it's orange but I put a little bit of white at the top and then I scribble it down, down, and I run out of orange. Who's done a fade or blending with me, right? And then you kind of let, I put the orange on there, put a little bit of white on the top and scribble it down and try to, and then I run out of white on purpose. So it's super bright, not very bright, running out, all gone, right? So, and then, and then you stop touching it. Otherwise, you'll keep mixing it in and we'll just make, what color does orange and white make? Like a sherbet color? Boring? No. I want it bright at the top and dark on the bottom. 3D! Right? But there's no way to know how much white that will take. So, we have to make at least three or four ugly ones before we start to understand it. Right? Like, oh, too much paint. Oh, too little paint. Oh, darn. Like that. But we just go, whatever. That's how it is. Okay, but we're going to make the stick first. And look at the stick is brown with green on it. But you can see the, uh, because he walks on the stick, right? He's walking on the stick that he rubbed all the green off. But the green's on the bottom part. So I go, oh, okay. Then I paint the whole piece. These are pieces. One, two, three, four pieces of the uh, stick, right? But we paint it as a little shape, but I put a little scoop of green and I go swipe and it's very green. And then it's not very green, running out of green. I'm almost out of green. Maybe I should stop, but I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna keep going and now I don't even know why I'm bothering. I'm completely out of green and I get to the top. But I'm gonna make all my texture Go in one direction so it looks like a stick. But when I do this one, same texture. When I do this one, same texture. Okay, so everything I just said makes no sense because we haven't done it yet. As soon as we do it, then your brain will say, oh, that's what she meant. Okay. So we're going to get our, we need our um, brown, right? And it's not very much brown because it's just stick. That's all we need it for. Brown. Oh! And then I'll need my green. So how am I going to get 3D? It's all brown, right? That's my dark. A little bit of greenish brown is my medium. But pure green on the bottom, that's my bright. Bright, medium, dark. Okay? So I'm going to do, we're going to do this little shape right here. And you can see everybody has this weird line right here or on the tail, because after I drew it, and I'm like, well, that's not smooth, so I'd always go back and, and fix your tails. I'm like, I think I just, it just wasn't right, so I get, everybody has that, but we'll paint over it. Okay, so we're gonna paint this uh, brown. So who remembers how to outline with paint? So we just, and we're gonna use the yellow paintbrush, because she's nice and big, and she'll hold a lot of paint. But we just stab our brown paint, and, our, and we touch our canvas, and our paintbrush will go, boop, and then we just outline it using one hair and get a good outline on that one piece of stick. This one. Who remembers this? This is literally how we do this whole painting. So I stab my brown stab. How come I stab it? Because even if I stab hard, it only gets this much paint. 
So who cares? So I go, okay, and I don't want to see Silver Sharpie. Silver Sharpie is boring. So I'm going to go like this, and I land in the stick because the whole thing's brown. Stab. Oh, my paintbrush opened. And then I'm going to sneak up. Up, up, up. Oh, I got it. Okay, I'm going to cover it up, and then I could go swipe. Did I scribble? No. I just push my paint, and it's perf perfectly smooth. Now you do it. Note scribblings for crayons and colored pencils and markers. This has plenty of color, no scribbling needed. And I want a smooth edge. So if I can do it in one swipe, it's very smooth. Now you do it. Go, Lauren. Yes, look at Celeste. Pew. Okay, now I'm gonna do uh, the part by the tail. So I'm gonna land in the stick. Smash. Go up, touch the, the silver line. Well, then I might as well keep going, right? But if I run out of paint, I'm going to stop and get more. I don't scribble. I just go smash. Oh, look at that. It didn't, it didn't last at all. I need more. Step. And then I land inside the stick. Smash. So I can lick at one hair that gets rid of the Sharpie for me. Goodbye, Sharpie. Now I've outlined it. So why do we outline when we paint? Because you'll maintain the shape. Because once you outline something with your brain, you'll stay in the lines. But look at me. Did I go like this? Dash, 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 dash. No, that's going to make everything furry. So I went smash. You know how a bulldozer works and how a bulldozer will push the sand like this? And then on either side, there's a pile of sand. We're using that trick. If I get enough paint and then go smash, it'll squeeze out the sides perfectly smooth. Okay? It's a trick. I don't scribble. That's furry. Okay? Now I'm going to make my stick so I stab brown. But what texture does it have to be? Right? Sh little stripes. So everybody pause and look up. I'm going to go par start on the bottom and go up because all my lines have to be parallel. Who knows the word parallel? Next to each other and don't cross over. So I just put, and they're gonna look like stripes. And if the black shows through, it's a built-in shadow. So I just go swipe. I'm parallel, parallel, parallel. Oh, and then I ran out of paint. That's completely invisible. More paint. Swipe, 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 swipe. Oh, a little bit of black showing shadow. But, the, but look at how it looks like the texture of wood by going in the one direction. The texture is just as important as the color. What if I painted it up and down? What would this texture be? Uh, gr grass? I, I don't even know. That's the, that would, up and down? No. It would be, they would, and then this one has to be going the same direction and the next shape will go in the same, yeah. So they all look like they're the same piece, right? Okay, now I'm going to get green. And I don't even care that there's brown on my paintbrush. No, okay, I do care. I'll clean it off. Oh, I see silver Sharpie. No, you paint right over that silver Sharpie. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Just bully that Sharpie and make it get out of here. Okay, now I'm going to clean my paintbrush and lick it off. Ah! No way. Uh, so I just put it in a paper towel and I fold it over and I go squeak and I only need to get most of it out because I am painting on top of the brown but I don't want that boogie of brown to get in my green okay oh look how much more thick this uh green is oh that means her texture is going to be different interesting okay now I'm going to go like oh, oh what I do is that did I just get my ponytail in that how is there stripes going up and down in my paint? Oh, that's gross. Okay, so I get my green. I always notice after I look at there's paint in my hair right now. How? I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to get green. I stab my green really hard. Very green. Okay, so I'm going to try to run out of green on purpose. So it starts off very green at the bottom. And by the time I get to the top, I should be out of green. But I have to land right by his tail and go stripe, 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 hor uh, parallel lines. So And black's going to eat up all the green. I'm black. 
Brown is gonna eat up all the green. Okay, ready? Watch me do it first. S smash super green. Should I go back and touch that up? No. That little stripey thing is the texture of wood. Then the next one, she touches this one. Oh, they like, oh, they oh, it makes greenish brown. Then the next row, the next row, above that, higher than that, higher. And I'm running out of green, running out of green. Now it's just turning brown. Should I stop? No. What if I drop off one micron of green? Oh, I did. Weird. I was kidding, but I did. A little piece of green fell out. But where is it most green on the bottom? Where did I run out of green? At the top. No stoppies, little stripies. And I'm, what if I go back and touch it some more? What color will it turn? Brown? Who's more powerful, brown or green? So if you keep touching it, I'm gonna, look at me, watch. Watch if I touch it. Where is the green, ah! The brown just ate my green. So don't touch it twice. It's just a texture thing, a little, a little green something something. Okay, now we clean our paintbrush off. No, not really. Don't lick it. Okay, now I just give it a little pinch. Because I don't want green in my brown either. Okay, now I get my brown. And, okay, who thinks that was pretty easy, right? We did color and texture. So, did we get 3D? Is there bright part, bright green parts? Is there medium green parts, greenish brown stuff? And then the top, because you ran out, is just brown? Right? Who feels like you're a step behind? Go faster! You're touching too much. You're thinking too much. You're playing too much. Just go, 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 go. Okay, now I have another piece. Oh, it's between the tail and his foot. But this is just a letter backwards C, right? So I just need to outline it. And what if I get brown paint on the tail or the foot? The tail goes on top of the stick. The foot goes on top of the stick. Don't worry, it'll be dry by then. Okay, so I, I smash my paint. I stay inside the stick. So I land in the stick, smash, okay. Now I sneak up, sneaking, sneaking. Oh, I touched it, I touched it. Now I can go backwards, see. No, I missed the Sharpie. I'm gonna try again. Bye, Sharpie. Okay, there, I got it. And then, Right. And then goodbye, Sharp. Okay. I got my outline. And why do we outline? And hold it like a pencil. Hold it like a pencil for outlining. Don't use the side of the paintbrush for this. Hold it like a pencil straight ahead so you can get nice. And I look how close to the silver I am. Because I want I wanna if I hold it far away like this, my paintbrush will will do whatever it wants. Like calm I don't know. Come back here, paint. Okay. Now I'm gonna fill it in. Which direction do the lines go? It has to match that one. So they go downhill, downhill, downhill. Okay, so I get a little bit more brown poke. And I can put my little brown stripes on there. Downhill, downhill, because they have to matchy. Sweep, sweep, match. They go down, and these ones went down, because it's the same stick. Because the texture matters. Up and down would never make sense. We'd be like, what is that supposed to be? Look for to fork. Now I'm gonna oh clean off my paintbrush peach. Usually they make butterflies. This one's making like a, a dragon's face. That one looks like an animal. I don't know. Fun. Like little Warshock tests. You know what those are? Psychological tests. What do you see? No. Okay, now I'm gonna get um uh, I'm gonna get green and go. Wait, this is a smaller piece. Do I need as much green this time? That's, I probably don't need to, like, I just, just don't stab the green. Just get some, right? So I get a little, but just some, some this time. So maybe uh, that, that much instead of the giant glob I got last time because it's smaller. Remember, we put the green on, on while it's wet. Right, because otherwise it won't work. Okay, so where is it going to be most green? It has to match. So it's the bottom, and then I run out going up. So what if it doesn't run out? Eh, it's an extra piece of moss. Who would know? I don't know. Okay, so I go, okay, very green. <gasps> then the next stripe above that will be less green, less green. It's now it's turning brownish green, and I'm going top, higher, higher, and I'm running out of green, and I'm not going to stop till I get to the top, and I ran out. And how come I can't touch that twice? 
they'll just turn brown. The brown will just eat all your green, and then it's literally just like a eel color. I want those good stripes. Those good stripes is texture. That reminds me of a stick. So I clean my paintbrush. Who felt like they touched the first piece too much and learned their lesson? And when they did this one, you're like, oh, I see. Yeah, uh -huh. because we adjust our understanding as we do something, right? So we're like, oh, I don't think I got that the first thing. Well, good thing we're practicing on a stick that nobody's going to look at. They're going to look at your chameleon, so we're practicing. Okay, now I have, ooh, look at this giant piece. Oh, this piece is humongous. I'm going to have to get brown like four times. Okay, but I, I first thing I do is outline it, right? So I stab my brown step so I can get a bunch, you know, so it lasts longer. Oh, and don't forget, go underneath her little wrist right here. Some people miss that, but it's under her wrist. So I go under her uh, and buy a Sharpie. And I'm pushing. I don't pick up my paintbrush. I just push. The paint, I'm already out. It's invisible. More paint. Boop. Okay, and then under her wrist. Smush. Boop. Ooh, that's a mistake right there. I'm going to get it off my finger. There. I went too far. But if we make a little oopsie on our background, I gave us a little bit of black, right? But not until the end of the painting when all the paint is dry. Then we can touch up some of the background if you get an oopsie on there. But you can't touch the black until the end or the black will get in your paintbrush and make everything look gray. And it's very hard to get rid of black. So you're like, oh, let me just fix this right now. Don't! Wait till the end, we'll do it together, okay? Oh! Are you ahead of me? You are. Okay, so we get, I'm just stopped talking then. Now I just need to do the stripes because it has to matchy, right? So I go, okay, wee, roller coaster, wee, I imagine falling right now or sledding, wee, oh, more paint, I ran out. It got see through wee, wee, fall down, wee, you can wee, we're playing, wee, pew. And if black shows, shadow, like I planned it. And then clean my paintbrush. I just use the same dirty little paper towel every time and just find another corner. We're going to do this like 50 million times. I mean, look how many of those colors was on the chameleon. That's how many. Can we scribble the green in? No. Brown will eat it. We're gently just putting the green on top of the brown until we run out. Okay, so now I get my, and this is huge piece. How much green? So we adjust. This is, I didn't, right? I'm going to get a big stab of green. This is big, right? So I'm just going to stab it like I'm mad. I just go, oh, okay, all right. That's a lot, but it'll be more green on the bottom. So my first stripe is oh so green. Wee! Very, very green. And what if it's not perfectly straight? It's a stick. And then under don't forget underneath her wrist, include it. I've seen it get left off. And then wee! Another one. Very green. And then less green. Here we go. It's running out. This must be the medium world. I'm running out. I'm running the brown's eating it. And then I'm all out of brown which means I'm at the top. I got a little bit of uh, brown and green on the foot, but I know that I paint the foot after the stick is dry on top, so I don't care. Interesting, right? Okay, now let me show you this mistake I did. Look at my original. What the heck? What the heck is this? What well, I'm... It's a Underneath it, I don't know what I was thinking, but we're not going to make that mistake. You know what color's on your paintbrush right now? Perfectly goobery green brown. It's just a little, and if you get it on her toes, her toes are shaped like V's, right? 
So like, oh no, I painted on her little toes. It's a V, we could draw a V, all right? But I just, this is the perfect color to just go swipe, 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 okay. See, I did paint the toes, but at least it matchy matches. So I made a mistake last time. I made a mistake. I forgot. I don't know. And my painting was all done and I'm like, I'm so good. And there was a little, what is that? And you know why I left it? Because my mistake becomes your understanding every time. So how did I learn how to paint? Making a whole bunch of ugly paintings. Okay, now I'm gonna clean my paintbrush. Pitch. Okay, ooh, one tiny piece left. Uh, I don't think you need my help anymore. Don't we know how to do this already? You outline the shapey, then you put in the brown, and then all the stripes have to go downhill, right? Like a slide, and then we put green on the bottom. You don't need me. I'll be quiet. You just do it, you see. You see how much you understand. So teachers can't not talk because we have a talking disability where we can't shut our mouth. So I'll cover my mouth and see if you can't do that piece of stick by yourself. I'm done, now I can talk. See, it was practically hard not to say anything because I really wanted to say, oh no, I have a piece of green that he just fell on my carpet, but I didn't say it. Because it didn't hit the carpet, it hit my um, tablecloth, I mean my drop cloth. <laughs> so who was able to do it by yourself with no help? That's right, because you understand. I didn't understand. I totally understand. I mm, sort of understand it. Got it on my own. That's how we learn on Earth, right? And then check for 3D. You know what? Now that I'm looking, look at this. I don't love it. This one, the green is only on the bottom, and then it ran out really fast. I think I want to put a speck more. I think I was uh, one more, one more try. A little tiny speck of, well, I, I'm just looking. I just, let me see. Okay, now it's running out. Okay, there, just a little tiny bit, tiny bit more. Okay, now I'm more interesting. I had a, mine, hmm. okay, there. Okay, I feel good about that. But is that green gonna stay that bright? No, how come? All paint colors darken as they dry. So like, oh yeah, mine is super cute and bright green. Not when it's dry, it's not. You're going to be like, what? But that's how paint is. So she changes on me. So then we just clean our paintbrush and we just, you know, because uh, now we have to switch to the smaller paintbrush because we're going to do the tail. And this paintbrush, I guess we could use it, but look how big it is. And it gets so much paint. Then it's so frustrating and you get a huge glob of paint and you're like, ah, oh, oh. it's just, it's just too big. It's just, it's like a giant sponge. So I switched the little blue paintbrush. Where'd she go? She rolled away. There she is. Right? Little. And she's the shape the same, right? But when I go to get paint, she will only get some. She won't get a huge glob of it. And we'll use it for just, look, look, look. We'll use tiny paintbrush just for like one rainbow's worth, right? 
because those are nice and those are small right, pieces. And then we'll use it for the foot because look, it's just this piece that the little for the leg. Then we switch to the big paintbrush and boom, then the pieces are like three fingers big and they go really fast after that. Okay, but we switched to the little paintbrush now. Okay, so this is the explanation, but we're going to start with blue because this one did. So I'm just copying. Okay, so it goes a little, and it, all these pieces are one fingerprint big. A fingerprint of blue, a fingerprint of green, a fingerprint of yellow, a fingerprint of orange, right? It's just one finger. But then the magic is putting a tiny bit of white on the top, and just like the green, but the green went up, right? The white, because where are the lights coming from? up here and we know it's shining down. So the tops of everything would, ha would be the brightest and the darkest parts would all be underneath, right? So I put a little bit of white on the top and go scribbly, 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 run out. The problem is you're gonna get too much white. <sighs> because how do you learn how to do stuff on earth? By doing it. And then you go, okay, that was too much white. Oh, and then the next time you get a, a less of white, and then you're like, okay, that's that. But, but I can't explain it to you. You have to experience it because this is Earth. So you ready? So let me put them back in rainbow order because I messed them up with the um, brown. I'm gonna put the lid on brown because I'm all done. Goodbye, brown. Where's my lid? Because I could use this to brown, uh, do a paint uh, a rock and make it a little bear's face and paint it brown and then let it dry and put little eyes and a little black nose cute right okay so little paintbrush and the first color is blue fix my colors blue right so i open it and how much blue do i need i'm only doing a fingerprint big actually i don't know how much paint it's the first one i've done so how about if we just poke the blue and see what happens? There's no way to know until we do it. So we just go, okay, stab. I don't know. Stab the blue. Okay. Look how nice and thick she is and bright. So good. Okay. And then how big is this piece? A fingerprint, right? It's like the whole curly part right there. But I got to outline it. I need the shape. If it's the wrong shape, I won't know what it is. I have to keep the shape. So how did we outline the stick? Didn't we land inside the stick and then sneak up to the edges, right? So then I could do the same thing here. So everybody pause and look up, even if you're busy, right? So I'm gonna land in the middle of her tail. Should we, oh, my paintbrush opened. And I just kind of go, okay, then it's like a little, a little N, lowercase N, all right. What if it gets bigger? I don't care. There. But then I put my finger. All right. But I stayed inside and kept pushing closer to the edge and then closer up to the edge and closer to the top. And I use little slow, little small movements. A scribble will totally like eat it, right? And you're like, oh, no, I scribbled. But what if we mess up the tip of the tail? At the very end, before we call it done, we could touch it up with a teensy bit of black. But not now. Cause it'd be all wet and it would just make great. Okay, now I gotta clean my, I'm gonna go, now we need white. Can you find your white? Each color is gonna get a little bit of white to brighten it up, to make it 3D. But if I go, look how many times I'm gonna poke the white paint. Every one of these colors gets a little bit of white. My white's gonna look contaminated. So every time before I get white, I clean my paintbrush. So I'm a, I don't like this one because it has brown on it. I'm afraid I'm going to touch brown by accident. So I'm going to get rid of it and get another one. Okay. This one. And then I just pinch so I can get a little bit of white. Okay, how much white? This is the tiniest little tail tip I've ever seen. So, so and I if I get too much, the whole thing will become white. But there's no way to know until after you've done it. Is this a setup? Is this a trick? This is so mean. Okay, so maybe just a little tiny pearl on the end. I'm just, I'm just going to see. Oh, 
Is that too little? I don't know until I try to do it. Then I will know. And what if I get too much? I will know after I try to paint it. Oh, what a setup. Okay, we just try. We just try and deal, right? Whatever. Earth. Crazy earth. I feel like mine's too big, but I don't know. Okay, so where is it most bright? Here comes the light. Blink. So it would be kind of like a rainbow shape. I'm just going to be, and watch. It's just like when we put the green on. It's very white. Oh, okay. Look, I, I, let me, I did it straight. What? It's supposed to be rainbow. Okay. <laughs> I'm messing up already. And then I go a row lower and a row a lower and, I, and I'm running out of white and I'm doing it very soft. Like I'm floating on top of the paint. Lower, lower, lower. I'm out of white. And is this going to come out perfect? No. And what is our texture? Little lines. You want to see? You thought mine was cute, right? Look at the lines in it. Can we call all the scribbly little paintbrush lines? Maybe those are my scales. Okay. That's totally cool. Look at the little stripe bitty things. Okay. Now I'm going to clean my paintbrush so I can get green. Pink. And then how much green? A little bit. It's only for one finger. But I did the blue. So did I get too much paint? Did I not get enough? I can adjust right now. So I go, okay, a little, per a little I'll stab my green. All right, I just stab my green. And then how big is it? I don't know. A fingerprint, I guess. So it's basically the bottom of the curve, but I land in, in, in the tail. Watch me, watch, watch, everybody watch. I land in the tail and then sneak, cl uh, oh, from inside the tail, you get rid of the Sharpie. All right, all right. Wow, I had to touch it like five times. I could not get rid of the Sharpie. Pfft. Okay. Did it. Look how little it is. This is so annoying. Wait till, it'll get bigger and go faster, I promise. Okay, then I clean my paint brush. So how much white? Did you get too much last time? Did you not get enough last time? Make an adjustment. So I just go, because everybody's different, because we're learning curve, right? So I go, mm, mm, a little pearl on the end seemed to be correct. But I could get too much and not know it. I don't know. Okay, where's the light coming from? Above. Doink! Oh. So it's the top of the green. Shoosh! Oh, that's so bright. Maybe I got too much white. Okay, but let me push it down. I'm gonna squish it down and it goes lower, lower. Ooh, look at the pretty white. It greenish white is making less, 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 less. Run out. Okay, mine kept dropping off white. Every look. Do you think I did a good job? Uh no. It's too much white. <laughs> but I'm just gonna ignore it. I don't care. You know why? Because I'm learning. Do I scribble it in? No. How many stripes is it without touching it twice? It was one, maybe two, then three, then four, then five, maybe six. But did I scribbly scribbly? No, that'll mix the color too much. And it'll just make baby green. I'm trying to make 3D. How many color values for 3D? White at the top, medium green, dark green on the bottom where I ran out. I got too much white. And then clean my paintbrush. Now, two colors are touching. The best part of painting. There is blue and there is green. And they're just like this. That is the most boring thing I ever saw. So what do I get to do? <gasps> I get to scribble the blue into the green and the green into the blue. Just a little, little, and make a new color. What does green, blue, and white make? Turquoise. Okay, watch, watch me. Super fun. Okay, so I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna push the, push just a little bit where they touch, like I'm making bridges between the two worlds. I push some blue and the green and the green and the blue and the blue and the green. Or you can use your finger, no, don't use your finger. Hey, green was more powerful than blue. What the heck? But it didn't make turquoise. You know, maybe I put too much green, I don't know. It's only my first one. So you know what, this will be our, our ugliest one. How come it's our ugliest one? It's our first one. 
So, whatever. And then, did you swish them together right there where they touch? I put some blue and the green and the green and the blue and the blue and the green, like bridges. Push and pull and push and pull. Push. And they make turquoise. Okay, what comes after green? Yellow! <laughs> oh, yellow's kind of see-through, so you can be generous if you want. Because she's like a highlighter, you know? And we're going on black. So, be remember what happened here? We're like, hey, where's my colors? Remember this one? Because I, I didn't, don't think I used enough paint. So, I just stabbed my yellow. Stab! And now, how big is my yellow? One fingerprint. Okay. So, I land in the middle and I go, swipe. Oh, it's like an H. I outlined it. Or the two lines of an 11. 11. I just got rid of the Sharpies. Well, it's easier because I don't have any shapes to draw anymore. So I just outlined outlined it because I just need to get rid of the Sharpie. And then once I outlined the sides, how easy it is to fill in. Swipe, 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 swipe. Easy. Then I clean my paintbrush. That cute little paper towel. Okay, how much white? Oh, and measure with your finger. Minimum, 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 minimum. Right? Okay. And then how much white? Each pick. Who thinks you need to get more and who thinks you need to get less? I need less. Did you see my green, how much white I put on it? So I'm going to sneak up to an, I'll be very, 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 very tiny. Oh, I'm a little. That was little. Okay. And then, wait. This is confusing. Which way is the light coming from now? It's pointing straight up. Oh well. Just put it on the we'll put it on the outside. How's that? On the outside, because that way it'll be on the top when we turn the corner. Okay. So I'm just gonna go, all right, on the out very brightest is so everybody pause and look up. So you can see I'm putting it on the out the white is the most white very white okay on the outside and then I go less 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 running out running out all gone and when it dries you'll be able to see it better because the white gets brighter when she dries oh yellow and green are touching best part of painting so here's my yellow and here's my green so I get to make a little yellowy green like a lime color like a margarita color so I, I clean my paint. No, I don't need to clean my paintbrush. I'll just push the, and I don't want to lose my shape, right? So I just push my green and my yellow and yellow and green right where they touch, right where they're touching. Make a new world, a new world. Yellow and green are touching. Scribbly, scribbly. Ooh, it's a lime color. Love. My favorite part is making colors. What if your shape pieces are bigger than mine? So... We're all basically going to finish at a different spot when we get to her face. Okay, now I clean my paintbrush. What comes after yellow? Who thinks I'm going too fast? Good. You need to go faster. Okay, now I'm going to get orange. Boop. It's the first time I'm opening orange, so I get a little poke of orange. Stab! How come? Because I don't care. And then one fingerprint. Big. I always put my finger there. Why? Because I would like to visually see where it's supposed to be at. And then I just want to get rid of those Sharpies. So it's like drawing an 11. Bye Sharpie. Bye Sharpie. Right? Fingerprint-ish. And then I just squish it in. Squish, fill it in. Smushy, 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 smushy. Up and down, up and down. Blah, blah, blah. <gasps> Orange is so much more powerful than yellow. Do you see it? She has way more of the color powder in there than the yellow. Do you see it? She's like a rich. She's like bold. Okay, now I clean my paintbrush. Okay. It's the same words, but I every time I have to get a tiny speck of white without tricking myself. And remember, we don't have to wipe it off with a paper towel if we go outside the lines. When we're done with the painting, we can go touch 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 anywhere with a little bit of black but not till the end of the painting when all the paint is dry or it'll just make a disgusting gray smear okay so i get how much white okay i've learned how many times one two three four colors i should know how to do this by now 
Okay, that should be the right size, right? I adjusted and learned and adjusted and learned. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so, but where is it gonna be the most bright? On the top, super bright. And then I go less, 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 ran out. That's my best one. Look it, I really got 3D that one. White, a little bit of sherbet color, and then orange by herself. Nailed it. That time I, I didn't, I, I understood it. I did it four times. I think I got it. I'm gonna clean my paintbrush because I'm gonna push. I, I don't want all this extra orange on there because I'm gonna push orange and yellow and yellow and orange because they're touching. Who's ready already? I know you are. Okay, so now right there, I just a little bit, just a, bit, a bridge world between the two worlds. I put a little bit of orange in. I don't add anything. I just squish them together. And I put the orange and the yellow and the yellow and the orange. Oh, oh I don't like it. It didn't blend. Orange is more powerful than yellow, and it didn't make a bit. Maybe I should use my finger. You think I should? Just a tiny bit and try to make a little, a little blendy world. Yeah, that was better. Because orange would, would not stop it. She was still being super, super bright. Okay, there, my finger helped a lot. But that little halfway world, right? But it will come off my finger at the end, right? Just wipe one neck. Clean my paintbrush, pitch. Who's beating me? No? Did you put a little bit of white on it? And did you go run out, run out, run out, and all gone, and not touch it twice? That's kind of the trick, is to just, however it comes out, stop. Scribbly, scribbling makes one color. Giving it permission to be little stripes, very white, not very white, ran out, is better. Does that make sense? 3D, okay, what comes after orange? Ooh, now it's the pink. Remember, there's two colors of red. There's pink and magenta. So pink, we'll call her red, right? She's Pythantho red. And then magenta goes next to purple. So she goes, pink comes next. Everybody will look up just in case you're not on this step. I just want you to know what color. Wait, she she reminds me of red, but she's she's not. She's really of a, a, in the pink family. And then I get a step of pink. Pook! <laughs> and then, ooh, orange and pink are gonna mix next. I can't wait to see it. Okay, so it's a fingerprint big, and I'm definitely turning the corner across the top, and I just draw an 11, but it's curved a little bit. Get rid of the Sharpies, right? Swipe, swipe. Finger, my finger fits in it, right? And then, okay, that look at how dry it got right there. I definitely need some more pink. Okay, more pink. Step. And then fill it in. Scribbly, 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 scribbly. Okay. Okay, okay. But I stay in the lines because I outlined it and that's how human brains are. And I clean my paintbrush. Pinch. And then how much white? How many times have we done it? One, two, three, four, five. This is number five. So I'm confused. It's coming out terrible. I hate it. Uh, I think I sort of understand it. I think I got it. I'm bored. Who already got to the fourth stage of the brain where he's like, this is easy. Stop talking, lady. You did. I don't know. I, what? Maybe. Okay. Boring. Who thinks you can do this pink highlight by yourself? I know you can. How much white? I won't even tell you. I'm not going to talk about it. Because you already know. Because you already done it. Okay, so I'm like, oh, oh, where's the light coming from? Ba-ding! Okay, still in the right spot. Very white. <laughs> That's a very white. And then less white, less white. And I, am I scribbling? No. Strapity, strapity, running out, running out, running out, just like the green. When we did the green, we trusted the stripes because we like the texture because it was thick. Well, why can't these stripes be scales? And we like the texture, too. And then I clean my paintbrush pinch. Who's getting enough, uh, just the right amount of white now? Has it been five times? You're like, yeah, all right, all right, right. Mine's a little better. I was getting too much. I was getting too little. I was, oh, let me figure it out. Ooh, orange and pink are touching. 
This is one of my fave colors. You know what it reminds me of? Missile Pops. Aren't Missile Pops pink and orange? Lame! Okay, so I'm gonna push the pink and the orange and the orange and the pink in that little tiny halfway world where they touch. Scrape it, push up, push up, push up, scrape it, scrape it. Oh, that's a good color. That's a good color. I like it. I bet there's flowers that color or butterflies that color. And I clean my paintbrush. Pitch. And then magenta. Who's beating me? Remember, don't fix your shape, your outside edges until the end. With, we have black for that. Okay. Magenta. <gasps> Fave. Because magenta gets to touch purple. So she's the lucky one because purple's my favorite. So I stabbed the magenta. Stab. Maybe I'll make this one a little bigger, just a smidge bigger, because it's turning the corner. Fingerprint, okay? And I keep saying an 11, but they're definitely bending. <laughs> so, can't be an 11. But, swipe. Oh my gosh, look how see-through magenta is. She's like a, I can see right through her. It's called transparent. Orange is opaque. You can't see through. I'm going to have to use a lot of magenta. Oh, uh oh, -uh. what? Okay, let me get more magenta. Stab and put it on gently so it's nice and thick. And she's definitely going to need Dwight's help. Uh, what? Look how, what? That's completely see-through. I hate more paint. Get more paint. That's better. That's, that's okay. And then uh, softly because I keep scratching it back off. Okay. Now it's magenta. That's, I had to get paint like three times to make it thick enough that I can't see through it. And then do it soft, soft, soft. Because if I do it too hard, it scratches it off. Okay, so I clean my paintbrush. Pinch. And then how much white? Who's getting better at the white? This person is right here. I am. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit of white. Scratch. <laughs> okay, a little poke. And then it's the light's coming from above. Doink! So I go, it's very white, whoosh. And less, 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 running out, running out, running out, running out, running out. Oh God. Should I touch it some more? No, oh, it's very bright at the top and just magenta by herself at the bottom. And look at those stripes. I have interesting texture on my chameleon. I do not feel the need to go back and smooth it. My texture is also interesting. But now magenta and pink are touching. Do you think magenta and pink will be a pretty color? Boop. Let's find out. Push the magenta and the pink and the pink and the magenta. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Push and shove and see. Oh, push the pink and the magenta. The magenta and the pink. I like it. I like it a lot. That's good. That's a good color. Hey, look at my green. My green got eaten by my brown. That green's not as bright as I remember. Whatever. At least we learned, right? And we were doing it. Okay, now, ooh, what comes last? What is the last color of the rainbow? Boom! Purple. Okay, so she's going to dry black on a black canvas. Okay, so she is, this is not her color. That's You're seeing the white gel she floats in plus purple. So we, she needs white's help. So don't be the shy with the purple. I'll show you. See, she almost looks black, right? So a little, little, bit of purple, little bit of white helps her a lot. Okay, so I go, okay. So I stab the purple step. And then it looks like grape. It's just the color of grape, but it's how big? I don't know, maybe bigger than a finger this time because we're spinning around the corner. Swoosh, swoosh. Look, there's a whole bunch on my stick and none on my paintbrush. What the heck? And then I and then I can smoosh it in. Ooh, this paint is so thick. I like it. I like a tech, but I could scratch it off if I'm not careful. So I'm gonna do it soft. I'm gonna do it softly. Shmoo okay, softly. That's better. A sharp paintbrush seems to be too scratchy. You know what I mean? So scratch it off so I'm softer, like I'm petting a teeny tiny animal. Okay, and then I clean my paintbrush. 
because there's still a whole bunch of purple on here and this would ruin my white. Peach. And then how much white? You decide. Who's good at this by now? Okay. You just trust yourself now and get a little bit. Okay. And then, and where is the, uh oh, oh, it's happening again. The purple is down the side. Where's the light coming from? Above. So I don't know where the white. How about, how about we change directions? Everybody look. So if the light's coming down, the ins, maybe the inside of the purple now is white. Because here comes the light. Does that make sense? Everybody pause and look up. Okay, so what? I'm just imagining where the light's coming from. I think it'd be here now. Very white here. Does that make sense? Because the light's, I don't know. And then very white, not very white. Oh, here comes lavender. Love, less, less, less. And then purple should be left when I'm done. Yay! I didn't curve that one. I made it perfectly straight, so I kind of ruined my tail on that one. But I fix it at the end. Clean my paintbrush pinch. Okay, magenta and purple. Who thinks that's going to be pretty? Remember, it does. it's not magic painting unless you make the new colors where they touch. They're not little blocks of color like this. No, we go like this and let them mix when the two colors touch. Right? Otherwise, it just looks like a bunch of boxes. No. Okay, so now I'm going to, now I get to make a new color. My favorite. I put magenta and purple and purple and magenta. <gasps> Stop it. It's a good color. I like it. I should wear a dress that color. Do you know where this comes from? It's from a long, long time ago. That's how I used to do congratulations. It's so old. I saw it in an old movie. I was like, that's hilarious. I'm doing that from now on. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Then what comes after purple? If we went all the way around the rainbow, the next color would be blue. You want to do it? Blue. Poke. Okay. Now maybe a bigger piece. She's turning the corner, and I just make my two curved lines, but maybe, maybe two fingers big now. Two fingers. Swoosh. Let me measure with my finger, though. Does two fingers fit in there? Let me just check. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's two fingers is bigger than one finger. Okay, it's bigger. And then, and then I need more, because it's such a big piece, I'm going to need more blue. Poke. And then paint it in. Look how bright this blue is. I think she's my fave on the black. It's so bold against the black paint. And then I clean my paintbrush. Pink. Okay, where's the light coming from? Doink. So it's the top of the blue. Okay. And then, oh, it's a bigger piece. This is, we did two fingers. So, the, the white might be a little bigger this time. Do you think you trust yourself? Maybe a teeny bit bigger poke? I don't know. Let me see. I'm a guessing. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. A little bit more. A bigger pearl? I don't know. But it's a mystery, and we don't know till after we've done it. And then we're, oh, okay. I don't know. Okay. So, it's the... Oh, so the light's coming here, so it's, where is it? It's at the top of the blue, swoosh, so white, right, so shiny, and then I push it down, down, less white, running out of white, baby blue is happening, and then it's turning into no, no white, and then I ran out at the bottom, because she's shadowy, and I don't care that I have paint, I paintbrush stripes, that is my texture, I clean my paintbrush, pinch, who feels good about this? We just did a whole rainbow. Do you know how to do this whole painting now? Yes! The whole painting is what? A series of rainbow shapes. Doink, 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 doink. And then, where two colors touch, scribbly. Where two colors touch, scribbly. Oh! We just learned the whole painting, except for now the shapes and sizes of our scribbles are going to change, right? Oh, but I'm not done. 
I have to put my purple and my blue and my blue and my purple. Do you think this is going to make a good color? Purpley blue? I think it will. But just where they touch, I make a little I push the purple and the blue and the blue and the purple and the purple and the blue and the blue and the purple. And the blue and the purple. <gasps> I do love this color. What? It's a good color too. Okay. Do you know what we do now? Her leg is. How come? Because it's the same uh, size of pieces. One finger, one finger, one finger, one finger, two fingers, two fingers, like that. So this little paintbrush still works for this. But how about if we do, if we change it up a bit and we do her eyeball so she's looking at us? That'll be fun. Right? Can you reach that high? It's not too tall, right? You can reach it, okay? So, I just want to tell you that um, you're human because your parents were humans. You can't make a circle. You cannot make a circle. And you go, yes, I can't. No, you can't. So, but you know what you can make? You can make a rainbow just right. And you can make a smile just right. And those make a circle. Don't try to do this with paint around and around and around you'll go like this whoops i made it too big whoops i went outside the line whoops no you go rainbow then get more paint smile okay so what is around her eye this is purple and it's going to act as our darkest color like a shadow right but not black that's boring so we go oh, purple all right so we stab our purple step okay well, let's just go ahead and get rid of this Sharpie, this very farthest outline Sharpie, and make it purple. But can I make a circle like this? Whee! No, I cannot. But I can go rainbow. And then I've already ran out of paint, so I get more paint. Poke! And smile. Okay. See? I did not scribble. I just went rainbow, more paint, smile, and it is a circle. Okay. And she doesn't get any highlights or anything. She's going to dry really dark and be our shadow around her eyeball. See, I make a shadow with eyeshadow trying to make that dark line, right? Okay, now it's magenta. But what if magenta gets in my purple? So, it's gorgeous. Who cares? Then we stab our, wait, which one's magenta? Do you guys know? She's a cute, the cute one. It's pinky purple. Pinky purple, right? Mag her name's magenta. She's mostly found in, in, in exotic birds and butterflies and flowers. Okay, so I stab. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing, right? But I can go all the way up to the next um, Sharpie line. But can I make a circle? No. But I can make a rainbow. <gasps> what? This is that see-through color. How many times am I going to have to keep putting more magenta? Oh, stab, lots of paint, rainbow, rainbow. Oh, my, maybe that's pretty good, right? That's all right. I'm not trying to cover up the purple, but if I get some on it, eh. Okay, okay now more magenta. I had to definitely put two coats on because you practically can't see it at all. Oh, can't see that at all. More paint. Scoop. Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, I had to do it three times to get that color bright enough. Magenta, you're so see-through. What is wrong with you? Okay. Nice. We're doing the eye right now, Lauren, right? You're doing, copying us? Because this is the only time we do the eye. And then I clean my paintbrush pitch. And now what's inside the eye? Oh, it's orange. <laughs> what if magenta gets an orange? Gorgeous. Don't care. So I get a little stab of orange. And she's got a lot of pigment, which is the color powder mixed in. So she's not see-through like magenta. She'll work really good. But I go, okay, I'm going to mess up the circle. No, you won't. 
I land inside the black and I go, oh, rainbow, smile. Aw, see? Rainbow smile. Don't try to make a circle. You'll mess it up. Because you were born human. And then smushy, smushy, bye, black. Doesn't that orange work better? So much better than magenta. <sighs> magenta is like all gel. Cheap. The most expensive part about paint is called the pigment, the color they put in the gel and stir it up. And really cheap paint, like from the dollar store, you know how you try to use it and it's all see-through? Because they only put a speck of color in it. And you're like, what is wrong with this paint? Okay, who did the orange part and then fill it in? Okay, now let me show, aren't, don't chameleons have those crazy eyes that can go <laughs> and look at everything? Well, we want her to look like she's looking at us. So the little, the little black dot goes in the back corner of the orange. Not in the middle. It's in the back corner because it looks more wild, more wild eye. And she looks like she's looking at us. How are we going to make a perfectly round dot what if we use our finger print find your black paint and it's what and we don't stir it in because it'll make orangey black we're just gonna use like a stamp with our finger because she's just the right size our finger or he so i go poke okay see it's a circle it's a, it's a circle but where does it go again it's in the, okay, if this is my eye, it's in the back corner of the orange. Not the magenta, the orange. Okay, it's in the back corner. Look, can I show you? Watch, so not in the middle of the orange. Oh, it's in the back corner of the. Oh, that's funnier, right? The back corner of the orange. That's funnier. She's got crazy eye. And then I don't wiggle, don't don't stir it. It will just get bigger and make a blackish um, orange. It's a fingerprint. And look how perfect the size is. Now just wipe off your finger. On the napkin. Isn't that cuter? Now she's gonna look at us the whole time. Or he, I don't know, I haven't met this chameleon. But what does my eye have that yours doesn't have right now? inside her eye a little white dot so look at my eye do i have little white dots it's from the light reflection so everything on this planet has wet round eyes right so we have to make her have alive eyes so use your use your blue paintbrush but watch use your stick the stick of the blue paintbrush because it'll be like the tiniest fingerprint ever so how much white paint would that be with my, <laughs> okay, I got a thick, a thick white paint. And where does it go? In that far corner of the black. So not in the middle. It goes in this far corner of the black. <gasps> not in the center. And you just go poke, and, then, and now she has glimmery, shiny eyes. Or he, I don't know. Aren't we proud? And then kill. He's just killed already. Now we just have to finish coloring her. It will go way fast after this. Okay, now we're going to make our spikes. Like that. But which way does our spikes go? Backwards. That way. Right? But look at these spikes are better. I like these ones are more fun. How'd I do that? I This is how I did it. I swear. Watch. I get disgusting globs of thick paint. Right, blah, blah, blah. And then I get white, spook. And then scratch the blobs of color with white string. And then I go, let go. Flick. Can I go both directions, forward and backwards? No, that will make them square. I can only go backwards, backwards, backwards. And then they're all pointing at the back of your painting. So I just go, back, back, back. You want to try it? 
so I'm gonna get a uh, magenta. How much? And I'm gonna switch to my big yellow paintbrush. How come? She can hold more paint. We're switching. Okay, so I'm gonna get a scoop of magenta. Scoop? What? Is she serious? She really means this much paint. Look at my paint. Everybody pause and look. I am seriously with the paint. Scoop. Why? So it can be, we can flick it. But I'm just going to put little like globs of paint. And I just go, a glob, a glob, a glob, a glob. Because I don't want to look at the Sharpie either. That's just a, just to tell you, go higher than that. That's all it was for. Glob. Wait, I need a little bit more. Yep. Glob. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to play with that. I just want to drop off some blobs. How much paint was this? It is dripping. That is how much paint. And remember how see-through magenta is? So do we need a lot? A lot. Or she will totally be magenta. I know. I know. It's a thick mess. But you know who will help magenta? Pink. And my paintbrush is dirty, but my pink doesn't care. So now I'm going to stab my pink. Oh, red. Pink. Red. And, oh, she's going to help. And I'm just going to put globs. And remember, how, how did I scoop my magenta? Scoop. Right? Do not, do not flatten your magenta. We're going to play with it. And it has to be all thick so we can play. Okay, now I'm going to get a disgusting blob of pink and go, like, next to those. A pink piece. Pink, pink, pink. Blah, blah. Mine is dripping. I don't care. Now, if I would like these little stripes of white, can I scribble the white in? No. They look like little pointy stripes. So when I get my white, I just go, everybody pause and look up. Stop. Do the next one. Stop. Do not rub them in. I like the little strings of white. I'm not trying to rub them in and make baby pink. Okay? So I'm going to clean my... Oh, I want to get white. My paintbrush is filthy. So I guess we have to eat the paint. No. No. Crazy nutsos. I can't. What? Look at all of you. You all went. And clean your paint. Boop. Right? Cleaned it off. Now I can get a, a, a stab my white. <gasps> I stabbed my white this time instead of a tiny speck. Because I'm going to scratch at the color with my white. And I do not push, well, remember when we push our paintbrush and how it opens like this? No, do it real gentle so she's pointy, but everybody pause and look at me. I'm going to make spikes. Watch me do it. I'm going to just scratch at that paint with my white on there. And as soon as it doesn't make white stripes, I get more, but I just touch her back. Everybody pause and look up, touch her back and go flick. Oh, that was pure white. Oh, next one. Whoop. And why do they touch? They t oh, there's too much white on my paintbrush. Let me try again. Flick, 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 flick. Did I scribble? No. I just flick, flick. I touch her back and go flick, flick, flick. Oh, I'm out of white. Okay, one more time. Okay, less white. That was too much white. Okay, tiny poke of white. Poke. Poke of white. And then I scratch at it. Whitchy, whitchy. Push the paint. Push the paint into pokes. And I can only go out, out, out. Uh oh, I'm touching it too much. Ooh. Because I wanted to add a little bit more white, but I'm kind of making a shmeary mess. Okay, careful. And then I just let it go, push it backwards. But, and then all pointing at the back at this, the side of the painting. Who felt like you couldn't stop touching them? Wait, 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 Lauren. Touch and flick. Touch and flick. Touch and flick. Touch and flick. Does that make sense? So they have little spikes on them. And it's down her back, not her head. It's down her back. It's this, this piece between these two lines. But we go past the lines because we don't love those lines.
They were just suggestions. Who likes your spikes? That was fun, right? It's a texture thing. Cool. And we clean our paintbrush pitch. Now I get to go. I got to rearrange my paints and put them back in rainbow order. I messed up. Okay, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Okay, I messed up. I had them all over the place. I fixed it. Okay, I like it rainbow order. Okay, now we switch back to tiny paint, paint, tiny paintbrush. So look at our legs. We had to break it up because it was getting boring. Okay, legs are yellow, yellow, orange, orange, pink, pink, magenta, magenta, purple, purple, blue, blue, green, green. All right. And they're one fingerprint big. And where does the light go? The white always goes in the front of the leg and then the top of the leg. Okay, so, but I don't want to do one leg at a time. That'll take too long, and then I'll get bored, and I don't want to do it anymore. So, how about if we go and we put yellow toes, yellow toes. Put the white on it, put the white on it. Then the orange, then the orange. Put the white on it, put the white, like that. And do both legs at the same time. It'll be faster. And then we don't have to clean our paintbrush as much. Right? And then, do we understand how to do this now? Do we have proof? Yes? So stop overthinking it. You have proof you know how to do a fabulous rainbow colors and everything. So don't go slow. Fasty fast. Okay? Watch how fast this goes. Because we pass learning and we're way into understanding. So first color is yellow. Oh, and what about her? I painted over her toes. They're just V's. I could put V's. Okay, so I get yellow. Stab my yellow! Stab! And I just go, okay. And it's still one finger big, but it's basically her whole toe. Her whole, oh, and the stick is dry already, so I don't have to worry. And then I get more yellow for the other foot, and I go V, V. Hey, that looks like a W. Now you do it. Lots of paint. Don't go slow. We already know how to do this whatever and then we after we draw them we just fill it in with yellow fill it in with yellow so easy our brain says oh i got this whatever i might draw the lines lauren we just did toes paint the toes yellow yellow both feet then get more paint and do the other yellow toe do you know why you're tired we're at an hour and a half that's why we're at our limit for our paying attention, but push ourselves. Watch how fast this whole body goes because we get to use more paint and go faster. Okay, so now I get yellow poke. I mean white. I did yellow. Okay, and it's the top of her foot and it's very white, not very white, running out of white, all gone. And then I get another poke of get white for the other foot and it's very white, not very white, run out, all gone. And was I all careful about it? No. Lauren, it's her toes. Look, look, Lauren, just her toes. Her two little pointy toes are two V's and two V's over there. The little toes, toes are yellow. Yep, just draw them, yep. Okay, and then clean your paintbrush because now we get orange. And the orange is her wrist and her ankle, so I stab her, the orange. Oh my, I got it all over my paint rash. It was a little wild. But now, okay, so, oh, it's her thumb too. So it's her ankle and her thumb. And look at her foot goes right over the stick. And then her wrist. And once you outline it, easy. Once I draw the lines, the H, right, or the number 11, but this one's not 11 because I have a little toe there. And then I go, blah, 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 orange, 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 fill it in, la, 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 rub it around, don't go outside the line, got it. Then I clean my paintbrush because I'd like to get some white. How come we're going faster? Because it's easy now. And we're just like, as long as I stay inside the lines, I've nailed it. Now I get some white, whoosh. Okay, 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 okay. So it's the front of her leg is the most white. White, super white. Less white, less white, less white, less white, less white, ran out. 
And then where's the, on her wrist, it's the top of her wrist. Very white, oh, that is very white. Very white, less, 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 ran out. And oh, and you cannot paint up and down, wrong texture. This, the wrist has to be side to side because it's like the stick, we have to be parallel lines. And then the, the foot, the foot with this one has to be up and down so we can be parallel. Does that make sense? Parallel with teeth, then parallel, okay. Our lines have to go the same direction depending on the thing we're on. Okay, now I clean my paintbrush. I am, oh, look at how pretty my, my paper towel's becoming. And then, now, ooh, orange and yellow are touching. Oh, what do I do? I push the orange and the yellow and yellow and the orange, orange and the yellow. And then I push the orange and the yellow and the yellow and the orange, orange and the yellow. Whoop! So good. Then I clean my paintbrush again. Because the next color is pink. Remember, are we doing it del delicate and soft? Not anymore. We already understand it. Our brain's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If we're too delicate, we can't do it in time. Okay, now I'm going to get the pink. Stab. Okay, now it's her uh, calf and her forearm, right? So I, it's about that high. Her pink, not magenta, but pink, pink. Her pink friend. Swoosh, swoosh. She's the closest thing to red we have. And it's how big? Two fingers, two fingers. And then I fill it in up and down for this leg, side to side for that leg. So they have matching texture. And why am I rushing you? First of all, you already know how. You could trust yourself. Second, I watch the clock. And you're supposed to be chasing me. Okay. Chase. And then I clean my paintbrush. Peach. This pink needs some white. So I get a little a little pearl of white. Who trusts yourself on how much white to get now? Who trusts yourself? How, how did we learn that? By doing it. Remember we didn't know and now we know? I know. That's the good brain. Okay, so now, okay, the so on this leg, it's the front of her leg is the most bright. And then up and down, up and down, up and down, running out, running out, all gone. And then, oops, I got orange in it. I'm going to clean my paintbrush. Blech! I got a glob of paint brown there. And then I get a poke of white because this leg would like her own piece of white. And it goes on the top of her leg. Swoosh! And then less, 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 less. All gone. Now I have to sew together the two colors. And I put the orange and the pink and the pink and the orange. Because look at, I look at the black line right there. It's ugly. So I'm gonna go like this. Oh, pinky orange is pretty. So I push the pink and the orange, orange and the pink and the pink and the orange, orange and the pink. Pink and the orange, orange and the pink. Who's tired already? So let's go faster like we don't care. Paint like kindergartners. Wee! And put a piece of white on it. And then scribble it in. And it just disappears by itself. And you're like, yeah, I know. I've done this already. And I clean my paintbrush pitch. Then it's magenta. Magenta is the elbow. And the knee, okay? So they turn, they look like L's, right? So I, oh, magenta, she's see-through. Oh yeah, gotta use extra. So I'm really gonna scoop my, scoop my magenta. Come on, magenta, whoop, I scooped her. So she's knee and, what's well, like a seven? No, a backward seven. And then I, and then her elbow is, is, like that, right? Okay. Funny shapies. But once I outline it, then it's easy. Because it's a elbow and a knee. They're just funny shapes. And then I get more magenta stuff and fill it in. Up, down, up, down, up, down. This leg is up and down. This one is still side to side. Alrighty. No, that's not true. Going up her arm. Up her arm is up and down. I switch directions. That's right. This one's up and down. Ooh, I almost made a mistake. Because this arm goes up. Yes. Okay. And then I clean my paintbrush. And I get a piece of white for each. A piece of white for the front of her knee. Whoosh! So bright. 
And then I go less, 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 running out, running out, running out, all gone. And then I have a little fresh, little, clean my paintbrush and get a fresh piece of white for the other side. And so it's the front of her arm, whoosh, less, 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 ta -da. But now magenta and pink get to be friends. Who's beating me? Is anyone on purple yet? You're just like, don't even gonna wait for me anymore and you're gonna go ahead. You just keep going. One color after another color after another color. You just keep going. You just follow the rainbow, but it's backwards, right? Okay, now, oh, magenta and pink are friends. Who needs help? Can you ask your parents for help if you're getting behind? Anyone like stuck and confused and I'm rushing too far? You can get some assistance. Help. Totally fine to get help to catch up. Not everybody, just some, just, you know, I don't know. And then, where's purple then? Purple, after magenta comes purple, look it. Oh, it's the top of her thigh and then her army, arm, right? Okay, okay. So I go, but now when I turn the corner on this leg, look, it has to be side to side now. And this one has to be up and down. Okay, so I go, all right, let me get purple, stab. And I go, okay. And it's two fingers, so it's a uh, purple. Can you see that okay? Purple, two fingers. But only one finger on the arm because she's littler. And then whoop, whoop. Just like that, you can barely see it, huh? A little bit. And then I can fill it in, but the leg, the leg is side to side, side to side. Oh, I ran out. Oh, it's a big piece. Side to side, side to side. And then the arm is up and down. So that they're parallel directions, the texture, right? Like the stick. But the top of the leg is the brightest. The front of the arm is the brightest. So I clean my paintbrush so I can get a little pearl of white. And I just go, oh, the top of her leg is purple, whoosh! So white, less, 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 running out, running out, running out, running out, running out, running out, oh, all gone. Now the front of her arm is the most bright. Less, 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 ran out. Who's beating me, anyone? I just expect you guys to start going faster and faster than me. I don't care. I don't care. You trust yourself, you go. Okay, and then, oh, magenta and purple are touching. So I get to put the purple and the magenta and the magenta and the purple. So pretty. The best color ever. Pretty, pretty. Clean my paintbrush pen. Oh, then it's blue. Or whatever color you have next. So it's blue for me. And I go, all right. So it's the back of her leg. Hey, didn't we finish in this color right here? We finished this rainbow with the same combo. So it's blue, blue. Wait, where's her leg at? Everybody pause and look up. Can't I just make the back of her leg even with her? Everybody look, it's just even with her tail. It's just a line from her tail from, oh. Does that make sense? It's a funny little shape now. Now I, now I can do it. And then it's the top of her little arm. Right here, whoosh. La, 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 la. Oh, more paint. And then blue, 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 blue. And then clean my paintbrush so I can get white. Okay, super bright on the top of her leg. Swish. Less, 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 right now. And then the top of her arm. Oh, nothing happened. I didn't I forget to go. I forgot to get a little speck of white. Very white. Less, 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 less. All gone. And now I get to put purple and blue together. 
I get to put the blue and the purple and the purple and the blue and the blue and the purple and the purple and the blue. My favorite color. Favorite. This is like blueberries. Because blueberries really aren't blue and they're not really purple, are they? They're purpley blue. The best. Okay, we're gonna start on the tail, and who's not done with their leg? If you're not done with your leg, please ask your parents for help, to help you catch up, okay? I don't want you to get behind because we're gonna switch the tail, and then you're gonna be like, oh my God, like that. It's just because you have teeny tiny fingers. Or just scribble like you're, you're, a, kid, like you're a baby, and just blah, 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 don't even care. Okay, because when we do the tail next, we're not going to use the baby paintbrush. We get to switch to big paintbrush and get more paint and do bigger pieces. It's going to go so fast. So where's big paintbrush? Here she is. So look. Ooh. Three fingers, three fingers, three fingers, three. It's going to go really fast. And then how do you outline it? You just to put, in, you know, like a line and a line, like an H. Outline it, fill it in, put the white on the top. Scribbly, scribbly. This will go way faster. Big paintbrush. So how much paint do you get? Just stab. It's a big piece. Okay, so what comes after a uh, blue? Green. So I stab the green, stab. And how big is it? Three fingers. <laughs> I actually put my fingers up there so I could see. Okay, three three fingers is a lot. So let's go, and I just put the, get rid of the Sharpie, buy Sharpie, whoosh, whoosh. Okay, so make sure my three fingers fit in there, yeah. And then all parallel lines, can't be up and down because that's not matching texture, right? <gasps> I went way outside the line. Look what I did. I'm gonna try to get it off my finger, but I remember at the end I could fix it with Blick. Okay. And then I clean my paintbrush from the green. Pitch! Who wants a new napkin? My napkin's kind of ugly. And I get a, a little, oh, a bigger scoop of white. How come? These are bigger pieces. And I just go, oh, where is the light? At the top, very white. Okay, that's a ridiculous. Okay, let me try again. Very white, not very white, running out of white. Almost gone, almost gone dark. Riley, turn your camera on, please. Okay, so now, oh, look at blue's not wet. How are we going to make turquoise where they touch? Maybe we should just make some. Can I get a little tiny poke of blue, just a baby poke, a little, a little baby piece of blue, and just drop it off on the very edge of the green? Everybody look. Because you're even if you're not ready, look what I did. I put a little bit of blue on there. Now I'm going to clean my paintbrush from extra blue. That's all he gets. I don't want to put more. Okay, now I'm going to scribble, put just, oh, pretend. Oh, I made turquoise and you're jealous of me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like that. I put the blue and the green and the green and the blue. Turquoise happened. And I clean my paintbrush. And then what happens after green? Yellow! Big paintbrush, stab my yellow. And I just go, okay. So three fingers big. Whoosh, whoosh. So much by Sharpie. I got oh, there. Now I got rid of the Sharpie, okay. I went outside the lines again. I'm going to have to fix that with black at the end when we're done. Okay, now I can fill it in with yellow. Put my fingers in it. Is that three fingers of yellow? Maybe I could go bigger. Okay, okay, that's three fingers. All right. And then clean my paintbrush before I get white. 
and go, oh, a bigger scoop than before because it's a bigger pace. And I put very white, not very white, running out of white, all gone. And then I clean my paintbrush. <gasps> Look at El, 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 El and go. Wow. I need a new paper towel. This one's disgusting. Goodbye. New paper towel. And then now, ooh, I get to put yellow and green together. Make lime. So I push, I push my, with no paint on my paintbrush, I push my green and my yellow and yellow and the green and green and the yellow. Push a shovel, push a shovel, push a shovel. New color. Remember, don't forget to add white. It's not a 3D painting unless each color has a little bit of white for 3D. Okay, and then after yellow, what happens after yellow? Orange. Okay, now, oh, I'm getting close to stick. Remember, I get to put the tail on top of the stick. The stick is behind the tail, so don't worry. So it's three fingers of orange, orange, orange. Make my outline, and then up and down, up and down, up. Oh, I ran, I need more orange. Oh, no. And then clean my paintbrush, peach, before I get white. Oh, wait, it's turning the corner. Okay, okay, which way is white now? I think it's still on the inside, but look at where white, white's gonna have to go up his back. We're gonna have to switch. We'll switch after orange, okay? So we'll stay white on the inside of the tail, but then we'll switch to her back after this, okay? Okay, so I get the white, and I put it on the top of her tail. Very white. Less, 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 right now. And clean my paintbrush. So I came, I get to mix yellow and um or uh, yellow and orange, but yellow and orange, orange is so aggressive. She's gonna try to cover up all your yellow. So very softly with the orange. Orange is just aggressive. She has so much more pigment in the in the mix. See? Look at her crawl all over my orange. I'm gonna use my finger and tell yellow to calm down. Right there on the edge. Calm down. There, because my finger's like a sponge and she could tell orange to calm down for me. Okay, go orange. Celeste, you are painting what we already painted. We already painted the whole tail and we finished. Now we're adding new colors. You're painting over all that work we did. So just make brand new colors going up the tail, okay? Don't paint over these anymore. You're just painting over them white. We already finished those. Okay, now what comes after orange? Did you make orangey yellow? So pretty. Now what comes after orange? Pink! Cute. So I go, okay, three fingers big, and it's on top of the stick. Okay. Yeah, yeah up and down I paint it up and down for it for it just like when I was doing the stick texture matters okay oh I got orange in my pink a little bit by accident I like it <laughs> oh that's a good color okay this is when we switch to her back okay instead of being the the bottom of the, the top of the tail we're gonna pretend like this is part of her back okay so now I clean my paintbrush and get white but everybody pause and look up this is when we switch so that we can be, so her back will be the most shiny. So I go very white. Last, 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 all gone. I have a feeling we're gonna go over in 15 minutes. FYI. See, I went up the tail, going up the tail. Okay, now I'm going to put the pink and the orange and the orange and the pink. You guys know that. Mixing two colors when they touch is the best part. And then after pink is magenta, but remember magenta is kind of see-through. And 
I just go, okay, I'm just going to draw the lines. And part of it is to, you know, touch her leg, but that's fine. And she's so, magenta so see-through, I have to put a lot. And then do, and then get some white for her, the, for her back, right? Her back is going to be the brightest now. Ooh, super bright. Last, 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 right now. And now I get to put magenta and pink and pink and magenta. Don't forget to put white, Lauren. Nothing is 3D without a little bit of white. And then I put the white in, and put the magenta in the pink and the pink in the and the pink in the magenta, magenta in the pink. What comes after magenta? Purple. Ooh, stab my purple because it's really big piece. Okay, now this is going up her back and past her leg. Ooh. Now it's an L at her leg and her back. And then make sure three fingers fit. Yep. Up, down, up, down, up, down. And remember, purple will dry black without a little bit of white's help. Because it's purple on a black canvas. Right? I, I say that all the time because I worry. Good job, Celeste. You're catching up with us. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Good job, Lauren. You're beating us by a lot. Okay, now I get, oh, look at how black she is. She needs some white. Scoop. Who knows just how much white to get already? Ah, uh, no, you do. Okay, so on her back is a purple. <gasps> so bright. Last, 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 last. Uh-oh, I better slow down because I'm going to ruin his leg. I have to turn the corner at his leg. Okay. All right, I did all right. And now I get to put the magenta in the purple and the purple in the magenta and make a new color. She was scribbly, 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 scribbly. So pretty, 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 pretty. Love, love, love. Okay, everybody pause and look up. I don't know what stage you're at, but watch. We got to change directions. The texture changes. Everybody pause. Push pause. Look. Okay. These were going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Now they change. Now they go from the back to the leg. They're long, skinny tubes. Everybody pause and look up. Don't paint. Tubes. From the back to the tummy. And they're only two fingers big. From the back to the tummy. From the back to the leg. From the top of her horn. Or this thing, I don't know what it's called, her horn, and then the top, and then from her from her forehead to her chin. Okay, they're long and skinny now. That changes, and it's side to side windshield wiper. Okay, windshield wiper. Okay, so now we go. Okay, what comes next after purple is blue? Uh, whatever color you're on is the perfect color. Just keep going. Because we might all finish at different colors on her nose. So I go dash, dash, and I just go side to side, scribble, 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 scribble. But side to side windshield wiper, two fingers big. Two fingers. And I always put my fingers up there to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I get a uh, clean my paintbrush and get a poke of white for her back. And I go, okay, and I should run out by the time I get to her leg. Very shiny back. Down, 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 push, 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 running out, running out, running out, running out, running out, all gone. And then I get to make purpley blue. Favorite. Makes me so happy. Making the colors is the best part. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the, see, look at it, it looks all bad. If we didn't make the new colors where they touch, it would look so bad. Now I go purple and the blue and the blue and the purple, purple and the blue. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Changes everything. Okay, now after blue comes green. But remember, we, they're long, skinny tubes. Everybody pause and look up. Make sure you're mixing your colors. Brandon, 
where two colors mix. Maybe even use your finger, Brandon. Right here, you didn't blend those two colors where magenta and purple mix. Just push them together. Yeah, push them together. Purple and the magenta, magenta and the purple. Yeah, so they blur. Okay, watch. Everybody watch. Now I go green all the way to the top. Oh, it's a tube. A tube of green. Two fingers big. Right? Side to side windshield wiper. Oh, I need more green. Ah! I had to get green three times. I had no idea this piece was so big. But put your fingers over it. Make sure it's at least two fingers or this is gonna take us too long. We need to fill in some space. Okay, and then I clean my paintbrush before I get great white. Scoop. So her back is gonna be the prettiest and shiniest of white. Super white. Oh, wait, everybody pause. I am at this, I'm at the, the skate, the spikes, right? Put your back right on top of the spikes. So the spikes are underneath. Let me show you. The back goes on top, right? So cut off the bottom of the spikes with her back. Okay. Don't even worry about the bottom of the spikes. Nobody looks at that. They only look at the tips anyway. Okay. So I just go, okay, you're in front. <laughs> Windshield wiper, windshield wiper. All I have to do is make sure that my lines touch each other. When I go side to side, it can't be a Z where they don't touch, right? Okay, then I clean my paintbrush so I can put the green and blue together makes turquoise. Celeste, don't forget to put white in every color and scribble it through. Scribble it through a little bit. Maybe even use your finger, Celeste. Can you go like this and push the white through the color? Push the white into the color. A little bit of scribbling to help to help brighten the color. Don't add any. Don't add any white. No, no, no. Don't add any white. Use your finger with no paint and just scribble the paint, the white paint that you already put on there and try to make a baby color. Use your finger with no paint on your finger. Look. Look, Celeste. Just go. <laughs> Right on the, push the white into the color. Scribbly, scribbly, scribbly. Oh, yes, look at it's changing colors. It looks like a tie-dye. Isn't that the prettiest ever? Now you're painting decorations. Now I'm gonna put the green and the blue and the blue and the green and the green and the blue and I made turquoise. And you're jealous of me because it's my favorite. Okay, now who's beating me up her back? They're long tubes, right? Two fingers big. Do you want to go three fingers? I don't care. What comes after green? Yellow step. Okay, here's her back. Swipe. Uh-oh. Uh, down here, it's her knee and her tummy. Um. Three fingers. Oh, what? Maybe like this? Can I do that? So it's a big, long tube. Right? Okay. There. Oh, it ran out. I can tell because it turns black. I can see the black show through. Who's feeling very confident right now? Go, 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 go. Just scribbly, 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 colorful uh, 3D, smearing the paint together, making new colors. Totally trust yourself. You have all the skills you need to make new colors. Look at Celeste making new colors. Mixy, mixy, mixy. Scribbling a little bit of color into the white makes a new color. Now I get the white. And I put it at the top so it's super white. And then I push it down, 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 down. Running out, running out of white, running out, running out, running out. Ooh, that really helped the white, from, the yellow from being so see-through. A little bit of white. Then I clean my paintbrush so I can put green in my yellow. I think my green is now my darkest color. Yellow will help her a lot. So I put the green and the yellow and the yellow and the green, the green and the yellow and the yellow and the green. Ooh, look how pretty I made the yellow and the green. She's so much brighter now. I think I did that too much, but I kind of like it. <laughs> I don't know. I clean my paintbrush. What comes after yellow? Who's beating me right now? After yellow is uh, orange. 
And then two fingers big or three fingers? How big are you making your pieces? I don't know. Okay, so now I get to cut off the top, the bottom of my, my, my spikes. By bottom of the spikes, by. And then tummy and arm, I guess. I don't know. It's a guess, right? And wherever you land, how far you are is how far you are. I don't know your chameleon. I don't know where her colors start and stop. You just decorate. Okay? And then I, I had to go, wait, because all of our, maybe, I don't know what our chameleons are looking at. Maybe it's five minutes after the chameleon. And she changed her colors again. We don't know. Oh, look at how I did that little. That's not two fingers. I wasn't measuring. I need to make that wider. Why wasn't I measuring? I put my two fingers up there and I thought it was right. Okay, that's right. Okay, I would see, I was talking. Now I can get a little bit of white scoop. And her back is very bright, so bright. And then I run out by the time I get to her tummy. Oh, I didn't. I still have some left. What? I don't care. And then I clean my paintbrush. And who's more powerful, orange or yellow? Orange by a million. So watch out for orange climbing all over your yellow and ruining her. So, you know, little careful orange. Calm down. You can even do it with your finger if you worry that she's just, just not control Like this. <sighs> Did I totally predict what was going to happen? Look at she's not disappearing. My finger is better. Right there where yellow and orange meet, on the very edge of orange, there. My finger is a softer. Okay, calm down, orange, she's so aggressive. After orange, it's pink. Swoosh, and her arm, like that. So the bit, her back, and I still had some orange in my paint, that's pretty. And then this little piece. So it's two fingers. Is it? Okay, I measure to make sure. Stay on my pink. Oh, need more. It takes two pokes to do these long tubes. But only one big scoop of white. It feels like you're going really fast now. Scribbly, scribbly, scribbly. Don't care, don't care. Oh, so pretty. And you know what to do when you get two colors that are touching and you mix them together. And then I get a little scoop of white. So they can be really bright on her back. Whoosh! And then push it down, 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 down. Running out, running out, running out, running out, running out, running out. But my favorite, I get to make orangey pink because they're touching. Who's beating me? How, who's far, Who's further closer to her face than me? What? You're almost beating me. Okay, go, go, go. I would like it if you beat me. Go ahead. I don't care. I don't care. You just go. Luke has a question. Oh, you're just telling me you're beating me? All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I always make an assumption that the raised hand is an important question. Okay, now I'm going to put the pink and the orange and the orange and the pink and the pink and the color. Oh, 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 I made a new color. Best part. And then after pink is magenta. Stop. Oh, yeah, and I have to make magenta. Th Who's on a different color than me? Just keep going. It doesn't matter what color as long as we decorate the whole, the whole chameleon. So I'm just talking and you're just painting. Okay, uh-oh, everybody pause. I'm at her crown, right? But it's still a long tube from the crown all the way to her arm or her crown to her chin. It's still true, okay? Wherever you're at, okay? So look, I just go up here, doesn't matter, and her little arm, okay? So if you get to that spot, it's still same, same. You just keep going whatever color you're at and wherever you are on her body. Keep going. It's the same pattern over and over. Now we're just decorating. Hey, see through magenta. I need more. Every 
time I do it, I get Rrr. You know, I decided to change paint companies, and every single paint company is different. You notice, huh? Look at your paint. Some of your paints are all thick with beautiful color in them, and some are all thin and see-through. Like, what the? What the heck? We went out of business because of COVID, and I had to start shopping for new paint people. Are you beating me? Oh, look at Luke. He's already for, he's already there. And Sergio, he's already there. Look how far Brandon is. Keep going. Oh, Lauren. What? You're the fastest ever. Emily. Emma. Emmeline. Ariel, I can't see yours. I see you painting now. And there's Oliver's. He's all, he's as far as me. Good job. Look at uh, Eleni. Nice. And Celeste. Keep going. Make more leg. Can you keep going higher? If you're tired, uh, Celeste, you could watch the video later and finish. There's no rule you have to be done in one day. If you need to rest, you can come back. Just wash this paint, the paintbrush really, really good. Because if there's any paint left in her, she'll dry hard. Okay? Okay, now I gotta put magenta. I gotta stop talking. Put white in my mind. Wipe my magenta, push down, 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 squirrely, squirrely, windshield wiper, windshield wiper. Okay. Now I can put, put the pink and the magenta and the magenta in the pink. Oh, look what my paintbrush is doing to the magenta. It scratches it off. I have to do it even softer. What the heck, magenta? So soft I have to be. What? Uh. Okay, what comes after magenta? Purple! Okay, purple will be her top of her crown for me. For me, wherever you're at is the perfect color to be at. So for me, it's going to be from here to chin, but it's still two fingers, right? A little forehead, a little crown, and then her chin, chin, chin. And there's still two fingers, right? Oh, I ran out. Two pokes for sure. Look at you trust yourself. Who thinks about how much paint to get? You don't. You get the right amount every time. How come? Because your brain learns stuff that fast. You have an excellent brain. And you're like, oh, I have to learn it every time. No, once you got it, you got it. And you just keep going. You're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's only frustrating at first. Hey, Cel uh, Celeste. Celeste. Celeste, stop at the top of her leg. Put the color and stop and make a little line on top of her leg. Don't cover up her leg. You just go, they're smaller tubes right on top. They sit on top of her leg and straight line. Yes. You'll just fix the leg later. Do the leg later. Okay, now I get my white. Super white on her forehead. <laughs> Okay, that was a lot of white. Okay. Push down, 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 down. Running out, running out, running out. Almost gone, almost gone, almost gone, gone. Okay, now I get to put the magenta in the purple and the purple in the magenta. Wait, no, and that's messing. Look, at, I'm making zigzags. I'm going too fast. It's softer. Okay, I was making zigzags. You know where it looks like Z's? Okay, after purple is blue. Whoop, whoop. Uh-oh, I'm at the eye. Everybody pause and look up, just in case you're here. Look, I have to protect my eye. It's the letter C, but I'm going to go in her there and go letter, s go slow, let protect her eye. Okay. Ooh. And that's the first letter of my name. It is, Celeste. But it's a good shape for behind her eye. Okay. And then I protected it. They protected my, um, because I outlined the eye. When I did my side to side, I did not hurt my eye. Because once you outline stuff, your brain protects it. Okay. And then I need the white scoop. Whoosh. Oh, that didn't come out very good. I'm doing it too fast. I'm getting zigzags. Let me do it one more time. 
I'm doing it too fast, and none of my lines are touching each other. I'm just tired. I told you. Because two hours is a long time. Okay, now I'm going to put the purple and the blue and the blue and the purple and the purple and the blue. Best part is when the colors touch. So nice. Okay, everybody pause. I have something else to show you. Everybody pause. Push pause and look up. Whatever color you end on the eye becomes an eyelid, like a rainbow. Let me show you. On this one, I, I ended it green. So she gets a green rainbow over her eye. Does that make sense? On this one, I ended with magenta. So she got a magenta eye rain, eyelid. So whatever color is under her eye is also a rainbow over her eye. Okay? Matchy, matchy. When you get there, don't, you know, when you get there. So mine is going to have to be green. Because that's where I'm ending up. Because the next color is green. So it must be a rainbow of green over it. And under her eye like this. <laughs> It's a blue, yeah. I went ahead and went behind her eye with green too. Might as well. And then I clean my paintbrush to get white. But look at my, when I'm on the face, isn't the spaces smaller? I need less white. Because the, the, the face is getting smaller and smaller. So I get a tinier speck of white. Right? Because I have to decorate the eyelid and this part. This That's ugly. Let me do that again and be sl slower and smoother. Smoother. Gentlier. Okay. But now I get to make turquoise. <gasps> I'm afraid of hurting the eye. I'm going to go very slow near an eye. Who's already done? You're beating me? I hate that. Okay, wait. Okay, now I'm going to look at where my eye touches. I'm the scared. I'm going to go very slow because I feel like I'm going to stab her eye. I put the green and the blue and the blue and the green and the blue. Oh, I'm doing this so, so I'm so scared. <gasps> but then this I can scribble because I know that will be fine. Okay. And then for me, I guess I end with yellow lips. Hello. And then a little bit of white. Oh, what a terrible job I did. <laughs> I'm going too fast. I don't care. Okay, now I'm going to put the green and the yellow, yellow and the green. But look at the yellow touching her. I don't like that. I'm going to push some yellow up into the green, green. There. Now it matches. That's better. Okay. I know most of us have to go, so I want to show you something before we go. We're going to use our, uh, everybody pause and look up. Even if you're busy and you're in the middle of something, watch me do this, okay? So, on the tail, no, we need to do the smile first, but you know where we made new colors? We put little tiny pokes of white, like a little row of white, where we made turquoise and purpley blue and the, the lemon lime, right? We put little, like a little row, and they don't touch. But then we also put this thing down her back, and it's a smile. Everybody pause and look up. Don't paint. If you're painting, you're not listening. Watch me do it, and then you can do it later, okay? So I'm going to use the stick because it will make, remember when we did the eye, we made a fingerprint. It's a perfectly little round dot, but I'm going to get the white, and I just barely touch the white like this, and I put one piece, one dot of white on her lips. Don't do it. Watch me. You're painting. No painting. Watching with your eyes. And then two fingers below her eye, I put another little dot. And then two fingers behind her eye, I put another one. What's this going to be? Her smile. And I make her smile, but not a V. It has to bend. But I go down, 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 up, 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 up. Oh, I ran out of paint. It's not working. Oh, little pearls. Pearl, pearl, pearl. And then I can make a big rainbow down her back, but not her tail. Whee! There. And then where all those colors were made, I go like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. Wherever I made a new cut. Oh, I ran out of paint. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, now my tail's getting bigger, so now it's four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wherever I made new colors, I sew them together with little white dots, polka dots. Hmm. Oh, there's my turquoise. And then the legs don't get nothing. See? Now she has smiles and dots. And then, keep watching, don't look away. And then I'm gonna add little black freckles. So I use my stick, but the problem is, this is after you're all done. The black is really black. And if you put too many black dots, it looks bad. So they don't touch each other and they're not friends, but it's just a row of black dots. Like it helps add to her texture. Where's my black? Come back up here. Oh, and they're far away from each other, like two fingers away from each other. Oh, and it's just, and I could put them on the freckles on her face too. Okay, now keep painting. Whatever you're doing, keep going. But I just wanted to, and the arms don't get nothing, the legs don't get nothing, the spikes don't get nothing. And then whenever it comes too tiny, I just poke my black paint and put more dots. And I could even put the dots around her eye. How cute is that? And freckles on her face. Oh, those are not dark enough. I must have ran out of paint. Let me go back. There. Good job. <laughs> 